Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, &D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch uh, staple bag canvas and I'm going to do a swipe, but I think I'm going to uh, do my swipe with beads. And I did watch a swipe the other day um, and I'd like to do a shout out to Johnny at J Mo Painting. That's the letter J and then M-O and then painting. He did a swipe I watched. He used a comb and it turned out very nice. And if you get a chance, check out uh, his channel. I will put uh, the name of his channel in the description, under the description in my channel. And he's an up and coming artist and very passionate about his artwork and um, it's worth checking out. So do that if you get a chance. So uh, let's go over my colors today. I'm using most of the King Art paint today that I uh, purchased a couple weeks ago. This is about the third time that I've used this paint. It's very creamy and I'm pretty happy with it. So the colors I'm using today are the pale yellow, the orange yellow, emerald green, sky blue and the last color is raw sienna and I added uh, just a little squirt of the deco art rich rich espresso with that and combined that I do have a few other colors I'm using I'm using a navy that I had made up previously I'm using blick rick turquoise and I'm I'm using a red that I had um, made up which I started with the Deco Art Metallic Fiestive Red, but I added some black and some blue to it, and I came up with a totally different color. And then, too, I made a grape color up, which I think is very pretty. And I'll go over consistency here right away. Leaves a little mound and then disappears. Hopefully you can see that. My pouring medium today is a little bit different. It's, uh, I combined 50% Liquitex uh, gloss medium with Floetrol. And to that, one part of each of those, and then to that I added one part paint. I did have to thin it just a little bit with my combination of the 90% water, 10% Floetrol, but, and I did not add any silicone today. So let's get started with laying down the paints. I think my swipe color today is I will use the yellow. So, and I think I'm going to swipe from the um, middle down. So I will just leave room right there in the middle for my yellow. Like I said, these King Art paints are very nice. And I did purchase them, um, I believe, through Amazon. They're, they are little tubes of paints. I don't even think they're an ounce. They're like 0 0.7 of an ounce for each color. But there's quite a few colors. 48. 48 colors come in the box. And I did, um, if I didn't mention it, I did lay down a very thin coat of the uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White here to help the paint move. And I will tip, tip the painting to get all the canvas covered after I lay down all the paints here. While I'm laying the paints down, I there's an artist that I watch that 
mentioned when you have a few extra minutes while you're busy doing things like this, you could talk a little bit about yourself. And I really never have talked about myself on my channel, but I can just give you a little bit of information. Um, my husband and I have been married for a long time, high school sweethearts. Um, we were blessed with three adult children. Um, and they are um, happily married, and I have, we have, eight wonderful grandchildren. So you can imagine our family get-togethers are very busy and loud and chaotic and a lot of fun. Holidays are a lot of fun. And my grandchildren range in age from 13 down to 3. We recently um, downsized. We had a home built years and years ago, well, like 27 years ago now. Um, it was a beautiful home out in the in in a woods, hardwoods with uh, on 10 acres. Beautiful, beautiful setting. The seasons were just gorgeous every season um, and then as what happens we became empty nesters and um, decided it was just too much too much upkeep so a couple of years ago in May this coming May it'll be two years we uh, went into condo living in a small condo community and uh, we love it here, no upkeep. And I was lucky enough to retire here not too long ago. And my husband is following that, those steps also and cutting back. So that's about a recap. So you know a little bit about me. I currently watch many, many um, YouTube artists, and I want to take a second to thank my subscribers. Um, I'm very humbled that I have so many subscribers. It's wonderful, and that you enjoy my work. And so, if you leave me a comment and I don't get back to it in a real timely manner, it's just because I, I do follow a lot of artists on YouTube to get all my inspiration from. And I try to answer everybody. But if I ever overlook you, I do apologize. Okay, so I'm just going to tip a little bit here now that I have all the paint on the canvas that I want. And I will finish off my um, edges off camera. Another thing I can tell you is that I, I started um, doing acrylic painting in October of 2018. I just happened to have been on YouTube and ran across an artist and uh, started following her and thought, oh, that looks fun. And one thing led to another. And here I am now. I started doing videos uh, in July of 2019. So, and I've, I've enjoyed it. The thing I most enjoy is the teaching 
painting is fun, but I enjoy the teaching and I and I hope you are getting getting a lot out of these videos. And I do have a glob of something in here. And it looks like it's pretty well covered. Just dabbing the edges here. And I think I will, let's see, I'll put down my swipe color now. Like I said, I'm going to try the yellow. And I think I will start out with beads. And if I don't like the beads, I will use, I have a comb that I was going to try. So I'm going to try and just set those beads right in the paint here and just string them down and it does look like I, I missed a few spots so I will go over that real quick again Okay, and now I'll turn it around. I'm just going to wipe my beads off here a little bit. And then I'll swipe this other way. Again, I'll push the beads down a little bit into that paint. This is a first for me, swiping with beads. I'm trying to wiggle it a little bit just to give it a little bit extra. No, no straight lines for me. Okay, and now I think I will do a torch. And I am getting a few little cells up, but down at this end. Okay, now I'm just going to take my comb and I'm just going to see by running a comb through this, what it will do, if anything. And if I like that. Oh, it definitely added a different dimension to it. And I think I'll try that again. And one more time up here. Okay, and I'll torch one more time.
I will get you down for a close-up and you can tell me what you think. Again, this was a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And this is a swipe, but I did use beads and then ran a comb through it. So here's the upper left-hand corner. So you can see it, it really does give a pretty nice effect through this. Love the red there. This is the lower left-hand corner. And I'll take you up the middle here. Got some red cells in there. So if you really like the outcome of this, give it a try. It's fun. The upper right-hand corner. And this is probably my favorite part of the whole painting right down in here. The lower right-hand corner. Get those cells in there. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.